When it comes to big data and AI, Palantir is a company that has the potential to take advantage of these fast growing industries. But the company is already trading at a pretty huge valuation of about 40 billion at the time of making this video, despite them making some significant losses. And the company's share price has been really volatile. Since they went public, we have seen prices in the range of up as high as $45 and as low as $10. It's currently trading somewhere in the middle at around $21 or $22 at the moment. This volatility makes it almost impossible to try and forecast where the share price will be in either the next few weeks or even the next few months. This is because what seems to be moving the price at the moment is purely market sentiment. But if we look over the longer term, let's say the next 10 years, what kind of growth could we be looking at? One way we can actually do this is by trying to estimate how much Palantir's revenue will actually grow in percentage terms year on year. Once we then have the revenue, all we have to do is try and look for a multiplier of a very similar company to Palantir and then apply that to their revenue to try and work out the estimated market value in 10 years time. This was a method used by Jonathan Weber in a recent Seeking Alpha article. I am going to take this approach just a step further and apply a few different scenarios to his calculations just so we can get an idea of the potential future growth of Palantir. And just a disclaimer, as always, nobody has a crystal ball. These are very rough estimates of what could happen in the future, all going well for Palantir, but nobody knows what may happen. The difficulty in forecasting Palantir's revenues is that they have two different types of customers. They have governments and commercial businesses. It's hard to know just how big the commercial side of their business is going to be in 10 years time. At the moment, it is about 30% of their total revenues that they're bringing in. In the first quarter of 2021, they had 341 million in sales. This was up 49% year on year when you compare it with the same quarter in 2020. Out of this 341 million revenue, 208 million related to their government business. This part of their business has actually grown 76% year on year. So they've seen some huge growth in governments using their services. The rest of their revenue, 133 million, actually came from their commercial side of their business. And this grew at a slower rate of 19% year on year. In their latest earnings release, the company has said that they expect revenues to grow at least 30% year on year for the next four years. So they are saying that 30% is the minimum growth rate that they are expecting and it could be a lot higher. For the year 2021, analysts are expecting that revenue is going to come in at around 1.48 billion. So what I've decided to do is just take that amount and then grow that at different rates over the next few years up until 2030. So I have applied four different growth rates. First off is 25%, so this is assuming that they come under what they're expecting. Then I've gone at 30%, 35% and 40%. So as you can see here on my graph now, I have plotted these out over the next few years up until 2030. So there is quite a big difference in the revenues in 2030 if they only grow at a rate of 25% versus 40%. So at a growth rate of 25%, by 2030, they would have revenues of about 11 billion. But on the other hand, if they had growth rates of up to 40% on average, then we would be looking at revenues up around the 30 billion mark. Then once I had my revenues in the year 2030, I applied a revenue multiplier to try and work out what the market value of the company will be at that time. In the Seeking Alpha article, they used Microsoft as a comparative company. So Microsoft has a multiple of 13. So that means that the market value of the company is 13 times its annual revenue. I then applied this same multiple to the revenues that I had just previously calculated. And here are the results. So at a rate of 25%, we would be expecting for Palantir to grow at roughly about 358% by the year 2030. And if revenues had grown 30%, we then would be expecting the market value to grow at approximately 510%. If they beat their expectations and grow at an average rate of 35%, which is very possible, then we could see a growth rate of up to 716 percent by 2030 and if it grows further again at a rate of around 40 percent on average then we could be seeing up to 994 percent growth and just to put an asterisk besides these growth rates these do not take account of any potential share offerings or issuance of debt that they have in the future although the company made a positive adjusted free cash flow in the first quarter of 2021 they are going to need a pile of cash to sustain the growth of their business in the next 10 years so this will probably mean that they're going to issue more shares or take on a bit of debt. On their balance sheet at the moment, they have very low levels of debt. 
So that might be something that they might do. And all of these things will obviously have a knock-on effect on the share price. But I'd love to know what you think. Will Palantir be able to consistently beat his targets over the next decade? and drive up the share price. What are your expectations? Leave me know in the comments. One positive to see is that their duration adjusted commercial deal value grew 76% year on year. So they are striking a lot of deals and they will have a lot of stuff in the pipeline for the next few years. So it is not like they're just starting from scratch going out looking for all these deals now. They have a lot of stuff in the pipeline for the years to come. That makes me think that they will have no problem in beating their targets at least in the short term. So that's pretty much it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and found it some way useful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we keep up to date with all the latest videos. I'll talk to you guys again soon.